Okay, so next is Hamza. 27 years old from Thunder Bay. He wants to go in guns blazing and says everyone will turn against him and see how it plays out. He's a sore loser and he wants to mess with people's food. And he doesn't believe in alliances. He wants to be a lone wolf and he's going to win every challenge. Okay, so I'm going to give this guy a zero out of five. Um, sorry, I'm just not feeling the guy. Nothing against him. Just this is what he's saying he wants to do. And as a big brother game perspective, I just give him a big zero. Because you just can't go in like that. Uh, you can't. To, in my mind, the way I see this guy is he wants to be Dr. Will. He wants to go in like a Dr. Will. And the problem is he's, he isn't Dr. Will. He doesn't have that that persona, that, that personality. Um, he comes across more arrogant um, and things like that. Um, who knows? I mean, I could be very wrong. Maybe this guy can pull it off. I don't know who he is. I haven't seen him play. But just from that minute and a half bio, it just, it just rubbed me the wrong way. And I just... Um, I don't know. I just don't think he can pull it off. I think he's going to be an early boot. And the uh, the older lady might actually use that to her advantage because um, he could actually make himself the target before her. Um, I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But uh, I just I don't see it working. Uh, if, you know, the only way for me to see to say that it could save him was if he found himself in you know a majority alliance. But he right away says he doesn't want an alliance. He doesn't believe in alliances. He wants to do it alone. So uh you know it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out i just don't see him going very far or the only way is if people are just so annoyed with him they want to keep him around because they see him as an easy target but those are the people that do get carried pretty far it could work i don't know i just um i just don't see him pulling it off so that's hamza um big zero to five just not feeling him uh, sorry Okay, next we have Kayla. She's 25 years old from St. John's, Newfoundland. She's a super fan. She wants to be outgoing and bubbly. She's very athletic and competitive. And she's defensive of people she likes. Uh, she's up for a showman's. And uh, she seems very, very likable. Um, I don't know. I just I liked her bio. I liked uh, she's uh, got a big smile on her face. Uh, I think people will get along with her. Uh, it all just comes down to if people can put up with it. Some people don't like the bubbly, happy people. It's just life. It's just the way it is. Um, and uh, But I think she's going to do well. I think she's going to fit in. And I hope she can find herself. I think she's going to get into like a majority alliance. Um, and I think she's going to do okay. She says she's very, very athletic and competitive. So that could be her savior. If, if people see her winning a lot of comps, they might want to pull her in. Again, if she's in that majority alliance and she can get the right people uh, to you know beast out and win all the competitions they could do pretty well uh, she's a super fan so she does understand the show and the game uh, she watches the feeds and all that stuff um, yeah I think she has potential to do well uh, again it's hard to see on that minute and a half but from what I saw I think she'll do okay she uh, I think she's gonna bond with uh, with people pretty nicely and it'll carry her um, deep in the game it just depends on if she wants to make moves or not or i just don't know if she'll be a memorable player i think she might be one of those players who just kind of gets by uh she's gonna be you know with the numbers and then when it's her time she's just gonna go uh i hope that's not the case i hope she uh she does make some moves and all that stuff but it just to me it seems um i didn't get enough of what she wants to do uh in the house so i really have no idea um but i'm really excited and looking forward to seeing how she competes she says he's very athletic and all that stuff and i want to see um i want to see her uh, crush some competitions for sure uh she has potential uh i just hope she shows and hope she does uh, i hope she does well this season okay next is ryan he's 39 years old from calgary he says he's watched the show for 20 years um that's like me and he says he'll be a super villain uh, and he's going to be a villain in the diary room. Okay, so there's not much to say about this guy. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about him yet. Um, he's the kind of guy I'd really get along with outside of the house for sure. Um, I like the guy like that and I'd really get along with him. He's my kind of person. Uh, you know, he says he like teases his buddies and stuff. Uh, I'd get along great with him. I'm just trying to see him in the house. And if he's talking about how he wants to be a super villain and a diary room villain... See, that's the part, I don't know, it's, he gets it, he understands, he knows the diary room is a game on its own, he gets that part, and, you know, if he does get the right editing, it can make him look like, you know, he is a mastermind, or uh, he's narrating the show, there always has to be a narrator, it depends how good he is at talking and all that stuff, and if he understands the diary room game, he's already a step ahead of everybody else, where he could be the one to get that golden edit, um, and narrate the show as well, so, 
Um, I just don't know what to say about him. He seems like a normal guy. He's, you know, he seems all right. He seems pretty cool. And again, it's someone I would hang out with outside of the house. Um, just with the personalities in there, I just don't know where he'd fit in. Uh, I think he might get into like a guy's alliance kind of thing. Um, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how this guy does. He does have potential. And again, like I say, he gets the diary room game and it is a game on its own. So it's going to be very interesting to see how he does. And um, I hope his strategy and his social game uh, are pretty good because um, he has the tools to do it. And if he can put everything together with the diary room and his game and everything all, all together, um, he's going to do very, very well. So looking forward to watching Ryan and I hope he does very, very well. And here we have Madeline, 25 years old from Ottawa. Ottawa is my hometown. It's I'm very happy we have another Ottawa player, uh, someone representing Ottawa. It's going to be great. Um, I am going to be cheering for her. You know, Ottawa's got to stick together for sure. Uh, she Okay, so she's tried out for five years. She says she needs a showmance. I like how she says uh, Big Brother isn't real life, so there won't be real life feelings. I like how she says that. The problem is, is she doesn't realize what it's like in there. Um, and you do, there, it is real life. Yes, it's a game and these people aren't your friends, but while you're playing it, you know, your emotions are real. You still get sad. You still get happy. You still miss home. Everything's real. It's just the game itself. Um, it's a game. So I like how she says it isn't real life, but I don't think she gets the dynamic in there. Once she gets in there, she's going to realize, you know, that these are people like she, she's going to get it. Um, so I, I like that. I hope she does well. Uh, I hope she at least makes a jury. I, I I am cheering for her because she is from Ottawa, and I'd love to see some another player from Ottawa win, uh, take it home. You know, you have the Pax brothers in season four, and uh, I'm looking forward to that and and talking to her and all that stuff after. Um, so she obviously is a fan of the show. She's tried out for five years. Uh, I don't like how she says she needs a showman's. She can't. You know, it's. It, it could help her if she finds the right showmance to carry her, but I don't like how she says she needs a showmance. It's like she's almost going in, um, you know, like in a, the first showmance she can take, she's going to take. And I, I don't know, I just the way she said it was she needs a showmance, that part I don't know. Um, I hope she just focuses on the game and uh, doesn't focus too hard on finding the showmance. Um, but I don't know. She has potential. I hope I hope she does well, and I hope she's not a pre-jury boot. But uh, either way, I'm cheering for her, and I hope she does well. Well, there you have it, guys. This is the first time I've ever broken down a cast uh, just off their bios, and I'm no expert at this. Uh, you know, I just from what they told me, I'm just reflecting back on what I hear and what I understand. And just the way I see things, I could be very wrong on all of them. I could be bang on on, on, on them. I, I have no idea, as, as nobody does until they get in the house to play. But uh, you know what? This cast looks like it, it's, it has the material and the tools to be a very, very good season. I hope these people bring it. Um, it's a very uh, diverse cast. I like how they have a few older players in, not just all 20-year-olds. That's great. Um, they have a lot of people from Vancouver this year. And who knows if, if um, they can all just say, hey, let's get Vancouver to stick together. Let's do a Vancouver crew against everybody else. You never know. They could pull a card like that. Uh, I think it's going to be a good cast and a good season. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I haven't looked forward to a Big Brother season like this in a long, long time. Uh, since the first time I played, um, it just wasn't the same for me. But I'm actually uh, all in to watching it. I'm very, very excited. Also, guys, I'm giving away my Big Brother bag. The one I brought in the house with me uh, from season three and season five. All you have to do, guys, check out the video. I'll put the link below. I'll put the link up here somewhere. All you have to do is check out that video and it'll tell you what to do. And you're in for the draw. I will be drawing it uh, after the premiere. So, guys, uh, if you want a piece of the house, this is your chance. This, this bag spent about 100 days in the house. It went through season three with me and season five. Um... It has more time in the house than like 90% of any house guest. So it's been in there uh, a long time. So um, I'm looking forward to giving it away to someone that really cares for the show or whatever. Just watch the video. Check it out. And guys, um, I'm really looking forward to the season. If anybody has any questions, hit me up on any social media, wherever. And I'm always down to talk. Um, so let's just keep it clean this year, guys, and uh, I'll be doing some podcasts and stuff. I hope you check them out, 
And uh, good luck with everything. The family's out there. We're all watching. We're all here for you if you need anything. And uh, let's make this a good season. That's hopefully it's not the last season because I truly believe we have the best cast, the best country in the world. And uh, we need to keep Big Brother Canada going. So, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Uh, I will be making some more. If this is something you're interested in watching, hit that subscribe button. And um, you'll be seeing me again soon. Guys, have a great day, a great season, and take it easy.